Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial and this tutorial is about hotkeys, all about hotkeys in Planet Zoo and I think this is maybe the most requested um, uh, tutorial in all times in my channel. So therefore I brought my uh, lovely hand in here as you can see, wow it's not lovely, it's very close up here, um, but I've got my keyboard in here which is way more important than what this is. So as you can see now before we go into actual hotkeys let me just show you around um, by moving the camera and there's also the, the first general hotkey. So I will split that into hotkeys that are ones for moving like for the actual uh, 3D orientation, I've got hotkeys for building for you and I've got hotkeys for pathing as well of, as barriers and stuff like that. So most importantly, and this is um, very important for you guys, you are moving around with WASD. Pretty simple. The problem here is for you, don't get um, confused. I have a German keyboard. There is no way around this. So this is, I have got the QWERTS um, keyboard. You guys do have the QWERTY, like most of you will have, I guess. Um, so please don't get confused because for you, rotation, as we will talk about later, is gonna be Z instead of Y. But for you, the Z key is exactly at the position where I have the Z key, uh, the Y key. So please don't get confused, even though it sounds confused already, it's not. So we are in the tutorial park and yeah, first things first, we are moving around with the camera and you can see that I am, if I hold down the middle mouse button, so middle mouse button is to rotate. There are, at the moment, I'm looking around myself. So at the moment, I am the pivot point. Um, this means I'm rotating my mouse completely around myself. And if I press Q and E, I can move down or I can move up. There is another way to change the camera and this is by pressing T. Now with T, I am not rotating anymore around my own pivot point. I am rotating around the very center I'm looking at. So as you, as you can see, at the moment we are rotating around this wonderful waterfall thing in the middle here. So that's basically how it is. Um, so if I focus on something else, you can see we are going to rotate on that one. So you can counter, uh, counter steer that with like um, WASD, but the most part is you're rotating around that. Q and E is still for moving up and down. However, it's all a bit quicker. It's all a bit more responsive. As you can see, look at how quick it is. And by pressing T again, it's getting a bit slower. As you can see, it's a lot slower and you can move your camera around. It's almost like as if you would walk through the park. I actually, I like this a lot more because it gives you a bit more precision and it doesn't really it doesn't really uh, confuses you too much because as you can see there's quite a significant uh, difference in the speed I'm moving up and down moving up and down to the side okay now um, down goes like that and up goes like that so it's pretty pretty slow if, if you ask me and this is actually I like this better now okay so we've, we've talked about that you can see me also uh, holding down shift over here so shift makes you move a little bit quicker rather than this slow so you can see now well, let's let's go over um, this area so you can see it's a bit better so now I'm just pressing W to go forward which is a bit slower as you can see and now I'm doing the same again with holding down shift here and W at the same time we are moving a lot quicker so that's how it is um, so this is kind of how you steer that and if you hit control um, in some cases you are even sl uh, slower than even but in this case it doesn't work um, that well because it is more for the uh, tangent cam I guess now this is basically the basic controls now let's hit a building to understand also so another very useful hotkey is the G and the H before we go into building. G is actually for disabling the HUD. So if I hit G, you can see is my UI menu is back. And if I hit G again, it's gone. Um, for, like in the past, I thought it was always like old uh, G plus G, but you don't have to press that anymore. It's only G activates, deactivates. Pretty responsive, pretty good. So that's it. Also, also, if you need some hotkeys, um, then you can see just like H and H again, there you activate the hotkey um, and the hotkey overlay. So if you want to kind of uh, see something, for example, what the animals are, just press H. You're gonna see them and press H again, it's gone. All my animals died over here. All right, back we are. Um, I just needed to disable the aging and stuff quickly because I don't want to care about this uh, in a tutorial, so that's why. Okay, now let's move on with building shortcuts. And these are a bit more interesting. So what we will do, we will actually just go over here and we are going to build a very easy new building. Let's go to construction and go to the building menu and let's, let's grab some walls first of all. So wall is here, you want to put them down, awesome. But what happens if you want to put this one higher up? You know, at the moment it 
this exactly at this point and you cannot get it any higher because you can only move it with the mouse. Now, if you hold down shift, you lock this to the position where you are and you can move it up with your mouse. You can see it that way. So this is the simple hotkey by holding down shift. You're moving it up and down, up and down. Okay, awesome. So put that down. What happens if you want to select multiple items? Actually, this is pretty cool because they changed this um, in Planet Coaster at the very end and then um, they kind of kept this in, which I found a very, very useful uh, addition. And I'm going to show you what I mean um, by this useful addition multi-select decision they took um, I'm gonna just put down all these walls here it doesn't really matter how they put down oh I also showed you some other uh hotkey here, which we're going to take a, uh, talk about later. Now, next important thing is how do you multi-select things? So first of all, what you can do, you can just select this via this window over here, but sometimes it's very inaccurate if you, for example, hit the you know stage like that and you, you just don't have them all. Now, what you can do, you can select one piece, hold down shift, and then select the other pieces, okay? So that's how it works. You can select all the pieces. But what if you don't want to select this one in the middle because you um, accidentally only selected that one you know there's also a hotkey for that this is control and you hit down control and hit that again and you only deselect that one piece and you can do this with various ones as well okay now we made a selection how can we duplicate this one so it's pretty easy a shortcut for duplication is control and d for duplicate it's pretty simple um, and then you have it already to your mouse and that's basically it so this is how it all works now if you don't want to have this all because you find it ugly and you want to redo it again um, there is an easy shortcut for this option down here. It's the undo and redo, which actually has it in brackets already. So it's control Z for you guys. Uh, for me, it's Y, as I said, so don't get confused. It's these two keys over here. They they are your most important keys at all. Um, I, I can only stress that so much because these are super important. Now you go and undo it, undo it, undo it, undo it, undo it, and so on and so forth. If you are like, oh, maybe, maybe I just do want to have it, you know, you can do the same with Control and Y. In your case, for me, it's Control Z, exactly the opposite, and just redo the option. So before you undid the option, now you can redo the option. So here we go. Now you redo it all and you can undo it again. If I counted correctly, you have 50 steps or even 65. I'm not even sure because sometimes it's a bit weird, um, but 60 steps should be in that or 50 steps um, should be in. So 50 times you can undo an option and redo it again. Now this is pretty handy um, if you did something you didn't want to do prior. So these are the, the basic things. Now what happens if you have something that is not on the grid because there things change a little bit. You can see this little icon in the top left means this is a grid uh, grid piece. That means you can only build that on this yellow highlighted grid. Pretty simple as that. But there are multiple pieces as you can see here that are not um, tucked to the grid so you can move them around in a free manner. You can just uh, put them everywhere you want just quickly doing that and now uh, let's quickly do a building out of that you can just create a building merge into group and then we are in the group next very important shortcut now you highlighted a group right and you highlight another group for example like that and you want to enter the group this normally goes by clicking this little enter group but there is a better way to do it and this is like r and you just put r and you are in the group this is super useful because if you're just clicking through the various areas and you would always need to go with your mouse there, that's pretty time consuming and it's, it's not really efficient. So what you do is like press R, then just uh, press R and you can just jump between the buildings pretty quickly. Also a little hint here, if you are in a building, you don't even need to do this again. You can just click the next building and you're in the next group. So that's pretty handy. Um, you can just switch between these buildings without actually having to um, enter the group anymore. Now, as we are in this group here, we want to do the duplication process again. Now this time there are two options. You can, two options, there are two fingers, you know, two fingers, two options. So first thing as we did was control and D, that's duplicating the whole thing. And it talks this thing to your mouse. You can see you, you're rotating it around with your mouse. This is where the location is of the new pieces. So if that is um, somewhere uh, in tilted area, you're gonna get some issues because it's never gonna be exactly the same. You can see it's, it's actually reacting to the height here. So it would be very inaccurate if you want to move it exactly along side one of the axes. Now you can press that again as we learned you can undo this pretty simply again by control and this key so Z for you or Y for me so control 
Z for you and under the option. Um, so this is how it is. But you, again, we wanted to, um, oops, why am I not able to, oh, because I undid the grouping, oh my lord. Uh, I didn't know that I did this. Okay, so we undid the grouping. We didn't want to do this. Now we want to copy that in a different way. The second option is to hit control and X, control, X, control, X. These two buttons are very important for you if you want to copy it alongside the grid, uh, the, sorry, not the grid, but the axis. So hit control here and X and you see there is this gizmo appeared and you can move it alongside the gizmo. Now sometimes the gizmo is a bit finicky, you can use the world axis if it gets better results, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, I mean you have to build to a certain area but well then you can use the world grid, if you didn't you are basically down to what the grid offers you. But the good thing is um, you can start building, which is essentially the thing why many people use this over the control D, you can do this um, exactly from the location. So it's not where your mouse is. I'm just now intentionally putting my mouse here, as you can see, and now I'm hitting control X and the same action copies that one over here. So this is where we are. Now, if we would about, we about to do this again with control D, I'm putting my mouse here to the top right, control D and it jumps already there, okay? So that's how it is. Now, if you, and this is another little trick, if you have control D as your favorite option, which is which is totally fine, and you want to move things around, but you don't want to move these things up and down, you want them to stay at the at the height you are at, you can hit down control and move it, as you can see. But then you only move it alongside the axis, but it stays exactly the height. So it's not going anywhere up and down. If you want to only move it up and down, it's again shift up and down like that, okay? So these are mostly the basic things. Now as you are progressing in the game and you're happy with what you did, you maybe want to save the game and here comes the next very very handy short key for you. This is this one over here, well, let me just uh, take my finger because it, otherwise it doesn't focus. It is F5. F5 is a very important key because it does the following. There we go, it op uh, opens exactly the last saves and it's not autosave. Please don't confuse that. It just opens the um, save option or the save menu. You can then just easily hit what you had. I'm gonna make tutorial and I'm gonna name this uh, quickly hot key. There we go. Hot key, save. Now, I call this hotkey. Now I, I'll do some things, you know, I'm moving around, I'm just taking my building over here, copying that here, whatever. No, I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> but you know, I would do some things and then I would need to save and in, you know, instead of just doing the following, escape, save, zoo, go here, I'm just like very quickly, boom, F5, hit this one, save, done, okay? So that's how you do it. It's pretty quick um, and in terms of, you know, um, all these things that do happen sometimes like crashes and stuff it is really important uh, to consider this because it's a very very easy way uh, of doing that stuff okay now all right so since i forgot a few short keys in the building here is me again with a little bit of a um, yeah kind of addition to what i've shown you for uh, previously with the building i set up a little build over here so first of all very important bit is a um, very very useful little thing and this is the space bar space bar toggles the angle snap what does angle snap do well actually if you rotate a piece um, you can see it whipped or you can see it that way I just hit the wrong key um, you can see there are these little dots indicating how much you made the angle snap if we were about to raise this you can see these little dots are a bit further away so it doesn't really uh, rotate that freely anymore and you can go even once more and you see there are just a few more things over if you don't want to have this you just pr uh, press the simple spacebar over here it's gone you can see the angle snap is dechecked and you can move it now in every little angle you want to have. Now next very important uh, building shortcut is if you tuck that to a wall you can see it automatically um, aligns the direction of that piece. If you don't want it to do it because you want to stick it uh, into the wall a little bit to create a nice little eco element you hit the V key. The V key is basically the align sur to surface shortcut. Hit that one and you can see you can move it in uh, pretty much as that one um, and you can put it where you want. So V makes it snap to the wall or not. Speaking of snapping, there is another option which is called, um, actually it's the position snap rotation and that is F. And if you, uh, position snap, sorry, this is the position snap is F because what it does is it kind of makes it snap to the middle which it does over here as you can see pretty easily. If you don't do that, uh, well it doesn't snap to the middle. And then if I remember correctly it's 
P. Um, no, it's not P. Which one was the other one? Was it... Oh god, I forgot about that. Was it L? No. I'm not even sure if it was L, but the position one has no, I guess. Um, this one, actually, if you then have, uh, hit uh, P, it also rotates the whole thing. Uh, it does not only, if I de-check that, you can see the difference. It snaps it in the original location on the rotation, but if you ha uh, hit that one too, it kind of creates this um, vertical or horizontal change of rotation. Uh, so the piece is not only stuck into it in the middle, but also in the rotation that you want it to be. Now, this is a pretty simple one. You can hit F again and it's gone. So a few little things that make it easier for you uh, to just use that. Okay, so that's it. Mm. I think one more thing I wanted to tell you is if we go to nighttime, just make that nighttime. There is a very useful thing. You cannot see that much, right? But if you hit L, that's the L key, you got light. This is a kind of a torch uh, function that makes you um, or gives you this torch element that um, always highlights this area where you're in. You basically you are carrying a lantern around, if you will. So that's pretty useful um, because then you can also build at night if, if you want to. But I also have to say that sometimes this is a bit confusing because you um, tend to forget that you haven't lit this area. So basically you end up having only dark areas because you thought they were bright, which they're not because you were using it. Anyways, L for torchlight, pretty simple. And uh, yeah, that's basically about it. And now let's continue with the tutorial as it was before. Okay guys, I needed to make a little uh, break here because um, the storm was going on outside a bit heavier and uh, yeah, well, I needed to change some things. So hopefully the camera setup is still okay. I needed also to move it a bit because now we are talking about the pathing. There are a few little shortcuts here that are pretty important about the pathing. Now, the first thing is um, pathing in Planet Zoom is working pretty much the same as in Planet Coaster. However, um, they changed a default of the way how the junctions work. So. Per default, the junction is smooth and trying to find the perfect junction, as you can see, with the perfect angle to your pathway. So it tries to be smooth and tries to be uh, going nicely in. However, if you want, for whatever reason, to have a 90 degrees angle, you can hit the Z key for you, Y key for me, like Y for the German ones or Z for the international ones. And you hit that one, and you can see it creates always a 90 degree connection or junction to your pathway, no matter where you go. So that's pretty much how you would do it over here. And if you unle uh, unleash the key, you can see, there we go, it's gonna be a bit um, different again. Now, this is the first thing you need to do. The other thing is, if you do pathing, and it's quite a struggle in Planet uh, Zoo, then you want to sometimes have the path go a bit more like free as you have it here. You know, if you don't want to have the connection right here. You can hold down control, which is on the left-hand side here for me. It's a bit out of your focus now, I need to do it, but you hold down control and then uh, you can have the, the path built free and shift and then you go up and down and you can move it free as uh, as soon as it's up and you can move it down again so that that way you can make it not connect you can see this is connecting now oops I hit control and it's not connecting actually at the moment it has some issues because of the height um, but this is the way how you do it with control now that's all about the pathing uh, for this but there is another thing about pathing and this is a simple shortcut for making it as you can see wider or smaller. This is pretty simply done via these two keys. I'm gonna move my hand a little bit so you can see it. It's the plus and the, for me it's uh, a, a U, it's called U in Germany, but you have a different key there. But these two keys are basically the ones you wanna use um, for that. So it's pretty easy, you can use it and uh, that is how it works. And also you can uh, change the length by hitting this uh, key over here, which is the, what is it, kind of semicolon or whatever, or accent, I don't know, but you can make it longer or shorter via these two keys over here. So it's pretty simple. Um, I don't really use it that often, I, I do use Use these ones um, but I don't use these ones because I'm I'm usually not working with a longer tool but if you're more like a casual casual player I think it's always helpful to have this at hand now that is basically it um, what I can tell you I'm, I'm, I'm just doing some little bit of work here I'm, I'm going to create a little bit of an area here very simple in plain now so you can see what is happening with my hand 
Um, but basically, if you guys want to have more information and more hotkeys, because there are several more, there is a link in the description to a forum post by Bo, and she basically listed down all the available shortcuts in the game. Also, big thanks to Delay Design at this point. She uh, mentioned that in her last video again, and this kind of reminded me of doing that tutorial, um, which I was trying to do qu for quite a while, but simply forgot about this. Now, um, yeah, let's quickly uh, do the building, but again, the link is down below in the description, and I hope you found this video useful, but just to show you how this is um, helping you in the process of doing it, I'm just quickly moving the camera back a little to the left hand side, here we go, so you can see that a bit better, how I play this, and um, yeah, uh, I'm going to shut up now, and you're gonna get this as a little bit of a speed lapse, uh, speed lapse, time lapse in the end of the video, if you're interested with the music, if not, it's time for you to click away and watch another video, uh, until then, if you need any other tutorial, it's available on my channel, I'll link the description uh, in the description down below all the different tutorials I offer, and let me know the feedback down below if you have another short key or hot key that you are using quite often. Until then, have a great time guys, and bye!